Hello and welcome to flywheel removal on a BMW. Alright, now, first thing you're going to want to do on this is hit it with some PB Blaster. This is what it looks like. It is the best. Now, gently spray the top of it, the top of your bolts. Just a gentle spray there. Catch the dripping excess. Now, once you get these loose and got like a, maybe a, you know, half turn or so, maybe a, a full turn, once you've got that, you're going to want to spray this again. Once you get them all, once you get them all loosened, you're going to want to spray them one more time because occasionally they stick and they will break. So, poor guy like myself. This is what you got to do. You get your first socket on it. Heavy duty, 19 millimeter. You're going to want to set this socket to the on position. Because you're going to use it to leverage against one of your stuck bolts. Or one of your tight, tight bolts. So, I do like so. I do like so. And get ready to leverage on it. Have it right about there. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to try my best to get out of the way to show you this, but you're going to want to take a big old wrench. I use my 32 millimeter that is all so common in BMWs, and hold it in place like so. And and after that, you're going to want to put some shoulder into that thing. like so shoulder this is such a weird angle Sorry I'm not being very talkative right now. Alright. Now, like I said, once you got that a little bit loose, you're going to spray a little more of this PB Blast up in that mofo. And the longer you let that PB Blaster sit, the better. But it usually, it gets it done within a couple of minutes. I'd say, I, I usually get antsy and go at it right after a couple of minutes. Like, two minutes actually. Uh, and I get after it. That one's done. That one's done. That's the one. Alright. Now. Even if it feels loose, like even if it feels loose, hit it with a PB blaster anyway. Because I've had I've had threads come out, or I've had bolts coming out spinning easy as pie, and then out of nowhere it'll just get hard all of a sudden to pull, and inside of a quarter turn I'll break a bolt. And if you like me. You're fixing these on a low budget, otherwise you'd be handing your car to a mechanic. Um, yeah, so, like I said, you've got to do what you got to do, and trust me. You know, the last thing you want to do is run to the store and replace a broken bolt. Actually, that's the second to last thing you want to do. The first last thing you don't want to be doing is drilling out a bolt. Ugh, red bastard. So... Yeah, um, this like any other bolt, I mean, you know, um, the same thing works on, uh, the same thing works 
on any other bolt on the car. You know, anything that's spinning on you freely, like when you're taking the clutch off, I put a pry bar in, I, I put a pry bar inside my clutch and use it to torque the Allen heads off. So if you're not to this point, that's how you get to this point. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, like I say all the time, if you think you can do this better than me, by all means, throw it in the comments. Throw me a link to your own video showing me how to do this. All right. That's it. Um, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. If you don't do it, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. These BMWs are becoming cheap. Really cheap. And then they're going to become a lot cheaper if you turn the car into a piece of scrap. So, um, well, hey, thank you so much for watching.